Good morning, viewers. I don't know how many of you have had your uh, front seats out, but if you ever go to take your front seats out of your third gen, I've taken a lot of them out because I recycle these units. Um, this is not exposed to the elements underneath, but for some reason, these seat bolts in the front have a tendency to get seized up and rust, and then the capture nut breaks off the back. Now, I've got that problem with this one. I'm going to clean this mess up a little bit here. Uh, but what I'm going to do for this, if you can see it here, um, same thing for the other side. I've already trimmed me some pieces of metal that are going to fit in here where I'm going to cut this out. Um, I got the rear bolts in, the seat, uh, put this down where it goes. I've marked them with my punch. I'm going to drill these holes out slightly larger than a nut, and then I'm going to weld a nut to the back side, and then weld these on here and solve this problem. So hang on while I get all that set up. Now I just hold these flat on here with a pair of channel locks, and I drilled through these. I tried to get you some video of that and messed it up, had the camera off. So again, uh, video editing skills sucking, but I got my holes drilled. I'm going to go over here and get everything set up and not mess it up because welding uh, on video looks neat because you can't look at it with your own eyes, but you can look at it on TV and that's weird. So let me get all this set up and uh, ready. I'll get my nuts and everything where I'm going to be, if you know what I mean. And then you'll... Okay, I got my nuts ready. Uh, if you can see that. The nut is just slightly smaller than the hole. Holding it in place, channel lock it down. Should stay there. All goes according to plan. Need to uh, put it on the correct side of the piece though. <laughs> I'm gonna have a big problem when I get over to the truck with it. Okay, so crisis averted. There we go. Get my welder on here. Hold my uh, channel locks with the ground strap. I got me one place ground off fresh so I could get a nice start on this. And let me see if I can make some sparks for the video. Wire, wire speed's a little slow. Let's try that again. Yeah, if I keep from touching my tip on the end there. This is flux core, not gas weld. I do everything with flux core weld. I've always had good success with it. I would have run the nut or the bolt through the nut to keep the slag out of the threads, but the vice grips are covering that plenty. Um, I should probably put at least one glove on here so I look safe. That should be plenty. I've got three sides on that one. Let me get the other one ready and we'll go put them in. Okay, I brought these back to the seat. I have bolted them to the seat. This seat's tweaked a little bit because they run it without front bolts in it there for a while. But anyway, I'll get this down, mark around the edge of my pieces that I cut, get the seat where it's nice. I got it bolted in the back. I'll cut that out and weld it in. I can't get my phone in there without being too close to my welder, and I'm not going to weld on my phone so you don't get to see that part, but hang on, I'll show you what happened. Okay, one bad thing about the flux core is the slag, like I was talking about. Um, I bolted these to the seat like you saw. I tack welded them in place. Now what I'm going to do is take my grinder and I'll cut like halfway around and tap that down so I can butt weld it. And then do the same thing with the other side because it's tough to butt weld. 
uh, two different thicknesses of metal down in any way. I don't have a way to hold them. Magnets work kind of, but uh, I like doing it this way. It's a little extra work, but it's worth it to me. So I'm going to cut those out and weld those in. I'll be right back. Okay, per usual for me today, anyway, I forgot to show you where I was cutting and moving those. I started getting all into it and just finished it up. But I welded my pieces in, got my seat bolted in, nice and snug. And even though this one isn't subjected to the weather, I still went ahead and body seam sealed it because I only tacked that one like little um, half inches uh, on all four sides of it because welding the thicker stuff to the thinner stuff, I was blowing holes in it. No matter how low I set my welder so I just did that and then I body seam sealed it even though it's not subjected to weather can't hurt that side come out much better I've got a solid weld all the way around on it without any issue um, but anyway seats done it's all fixed there's how you do that if you uh, have that issue so thanks for tuning in